This is Good News Reflections for July 1st. My name is Bruce and today I'll be reflecting on Revelation 19 verses 11 through 18. Well, 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 here we are in the book of Revelation. It seems that pastors and teachers tend not to want to talk much about this book from the pulpit. Because it is written from John's vision while being taken up in the Spirit, it can be quite difficult to understand. But I have found I have taken this particular book more literally and less figuratively, and it tends to make more sense to me. Fortunately for me, Pastor Dean and Amy have covered the awful parts of this book, and I get to talk about the glory of Jesus returning for a second time to earth. Unfortunately, contrary to his first visit with us, when he was providing the means to spend eternity with him, he now returns to judge the people, demons, and Satan who are still left on earth. If you're a member of the pre-tribulation belief, then you trust that his church, us, will already have been caught up with him in the heaven prior to all the calamities that the previous chapters revealed. For those of you who remember the the uh, book series by LaHaye, uh, the Left Behind series, both books and movies, uh, Kirk Cameron starred in them, you'll remember being caught up and talking about that particular issue. So let's go on. We'll read, chap- uh, read verses 11 through 16. This is the rider on the white horse. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider was called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven are following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of fury, of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh has the name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Some Bible scholars say that we, the saints, believers in Christ, that were caught up with him in the heaven at the start of the tribulation, are the armies of heaven described in verse 12. Imagine coming back down to earth riding a white horse dressed in fine linen, white and clean, with Jesus leading the way. The key to these verses is to know that Jesus will return to end earthly suffering and begin the judgment period. There is only one way to assure that we don't have to endure either the tribulation period or the thousand years to follow. Put your trust in Jesus. There's no better time than right now. Signing off from the lakes.